Now the highlights of Greyhound racing through the week and firstly we go to Olympic Park last Monday night. First leg of the double and the favourite number seven, the Black Broken Cup. Dunwell came out fast to the inside beginning quickly Broken Cup out wide and Broken Cup racing for the lead getting through on the inside Black Zephyr they're colliding out of the straight but Black Zephyr retained the inside going right back through the field is Dunwell down the back the leader was Black Zephyr by two or three lengths out of Vibrant Black Broken Cup racing third on the inside then Winley Raid of Prime World they were followed by La Camargo National Poppy and Dunwell but Black Zephyr shot away four or five lengths into the straight from Vibrant Black and Prime World the outside but Black Zephyr too good again Three links to the run home to Vibrant Black, third is Prime World. And Nikki for the blue, again, the favourite here, Nicky Bear. Quickly to Dedication and flying from the outside is Darkness. Darkness took the lead from Dedication. Nicky Bear, second and third, last the first turn. Down the back and Darkness shot away, led by three or four links. Dedication second, three links, Karabi Sun. They were followed by Wanton Chief, Nicky Bear, the outside and four or five. Son of Irish Darkness, three in front, off the back from Dedication. Four to Nicky Bear on the outside of Karabi Sun into the straight. The leader, Darkness, Dedication, getting up on the inside, Darkness, Dedication. Darkness, I'd say. Darkness, a half head. Dedication, second, third, Nicky Ben. And the double, five and eight there, paid $58.70. So to Sandown Park and Broken Cup this time, favoured at seven to two on. It's the black. It's favourite Broken Cup came out fast on the inside. Muggins heading to the outside and uh, over on the outside fast flyer showing pace. Broken Cup in a bit of trouble in the first turn. It's third the outside. Going to the back and Muggins the leader from Sam's Dolphin. Only two lengths to Broken Cup now followed by Special Band. Well back in the field is Fast Flyer. They were followed by Blue Tiv. Well back Crafty Tiger Linton's boy. Off the back straight they travel Muggins and Sam's Dolphin. Broken Cup angles for the centre. Into the straight Sam's Dolphin the leader but Broken Cup swapping it now. Oh, I think Broken Cup, yes, I'd say the favourite Broken Cup's got up to win from Sam's Dolphin and Muggins. Favourite here, time. seven black and national, national star. Again, okay out wide, but drop back to the tail of the field. Away smartly, Caddy's champ on the inside to lead early. From propulsion, they were followed by Count Saxon. National star making ground on the outside, followed by Tailspin Tommy. Into the straight the first time. And Caddy's champ four to Count Saxon, propulsion third. Up on the outside, national star colliding there with Tailspin Tommy. As they run out of the straight now, and the leader was Caddy's champ, about three in front. Running second, there was Count Saxon, two lengths away, propulsion, two or three lengths away, National Star struggling a bit they were followed by Tailspin Tommy well back Mystic Champion and Judy's Idol running the turn and Caddy's Champ is clear, Caddy's Champ five lengths out in front of Propulsion and then came National Star, Caddy's Champ has just won a half length Propulsion rattling home at the finish, third National Star followed by Tailspin and the double there for one broken cup and two Caddy's Champ paid four dollars and five cents, we go to Geelong number two check, Swift Fox the favourite in the first leg, set they're racing this time and slow to begin was Rambo. Away smartly there was Tempix Jerome going quickly too. Is Cal's Donna on the outside followed by Rambo. As they work off the back now Tempix Jerome the leader. Up on the outside there is Rambo towards the lead and Cal's Donna. Further back in the field Castella Prince making ground. Swift Box back at the tail and company with Smart Jewel and Lord Belfast around the turn. Cal's Donna clear. Well out in front of Rambo and Cal's Donna's going to come down and win six lengths. Uh, second placing Rambo, Calandra might have been third from Tempix to Rome. One red the favourite here, again, Misty Sheba. Past Misty Sheba on the inside, going quickly Amber Impulse, followed by Aidan Currency Lass. Further back is none to the inside, then came Seville Mist. Second last try, Minga the outside and Darvel's Ocean at the tail. Off the back and Amber Impulse shot away though. It got out to lead about four lengths to Aidan running second. Misty Sheba struggling, they were followed by Seville Mist and try Minga coming to the outside in the straight. Amber Impulse tackled by Aidan, but Amber Impulse is going to win. A link to Aidan, two away third, Misty Sheba. Then and a big double there at Geelong for six and eight, paid $156.85. And finally to Cranbourne last night, and the favourite in the first leg, seven black, Boss Man. The racing and boss man began fast out wide, going quickly though as Noble Rip to show the lead. And Noble Rip the leader caught out wide as boss man now went to second, check Motorola. Dropped back to last as they run to the back now. The leader was Noble Rip. Boss man running second about four or five lengths to Fast Trapper. They were followed by Motorola the outside and Miss Playgirl's tailed right up. 
coming off the back and Noble Rip the leader being tackled by Bossman the outside. They're about eight lengths by Dorella the outside on the turn and Bossman raced up to join Noble Rip the inside. Noble Rip comes again, Noble Rip, Bossman, Bossman did the better. I reckon Bossman a half head to Noble Rip about three lengths away. Motor racing the And the favourite to check, the Monarch. Away smartly. And Queen Titania drove to the front now from Tidy Melody. Severely checked to the tail, Galaxy Spirit and Larnia. Running down the back and Queen Titania the leader. Two lengths, the Monarch, a length and a half, Tidy Melody. Four lengths, Tidy Turmoil, Tidy Fire Slave Boy. Well back, second last, Larnia, Galaxy Spirit at the tail. Off the back, Queen Titania the leader. A length or so to the Monarch, three lengths away, Tidy Melody. Around the turn, Queen Titania went wide. The Monarch driving through on the inside, Queen Titania the Monarch, they get it. Close might be the Monarch and knows Queen Titania, but nothing in it. Two or three lengths away, Tidy Melody, well back there. Ron Hawkes will write in the two close finishes there and seven, Boss Man and two, the Monarch, the two favourites and subs, $2.30 for the double. And that was Greyhound Racing. We'll be back after this break with Harness Racing from Mooney Valley last night. <laughs> She is my daughter. No one's going to hurt her. Least of all, Roger Carlyle. Roger Carlyle is dead. Who is his killer? Well, he was the one person apart from me that knew your Patricia. I didn't kill him. Looks like we'll have to get the carpet cleaned, though. She's your murderer, Charlie, not me. Caroline Morell. This should be burnt. Because if Gordon ever reads it... Who killed R.C.? Sons and Daughters, 7.30 tonight on Channel 7. Sometimes.